Hey guys, usually on Tuesdays I want to show you guys behind the scenes a little bit on some of the tools that I have. And so I know I've talked about this before, but I want to show you guys um, kind of real time so you know you have a better idea of uh, what I'm talking about when I mention my hashtag collections. So on Instagram, I've showed in previous videos how I use Grum to schedule my Instagram posts and it push the posts. But you can do this for any platform like Planoly, whatever you want to do. Um, but I just have my hashtag groupings based on the different days of the week here and then just some miscellaneous categories. So when I'm posting content based on categories like Mood Board Monday, I have like two to three different categories and I try to fill all 30 hashtags. So I've created a bunch of groupings of 30 hashtags based on the topic of the content. So I'll have the day of the week um, or it'll be miscellaneous. It'll be the different themes that I'm using. So Mood Board Monday, Monday Morning Marketing Show, Hot Mess Mondays, um, there's all different kinds of themes or maybe even nine grid topics I might want to be using. Um, and then I have the hashtag groups here. Um, and so if you look, I do, um, I love customizing the field type. So I use a single line text here. This might be a good idea to use. Um, uh, let's see. You could do this as what the heck? can't find it right now, but there's all different kinds of fields you can use. So you can't use it since it's the primary one. You can't use it as what I like to use, multiple select. Then you actually enter and people can put in different categories. So I could put in Mood Board Monday, I could put in Work Wine Wednesday. Um, but so for now, it's the single line text. This is a single line text. The hashtag groupings is long text, so it can save all of those here. And what I really like is that you can expand and see all of them at one time. Caption copy, if you have specific captions that you uh, copy and paste and use over and over, I've done that for like Hot Mess Mondays. Um, or if I have links that I want to use, I put them here and then I can easily copy and paste. The different content categories, so this would actually be the best fit. I could actually change this to multiple select, colored options, I can convert, and I can change that to where if I want to say, okay, this is brand awareness and its value, um, I can change it to that. Conversion, um, this is kind of telling you where you want people to end up. So if I'm doing Mood Board Mondays, I might not care about converting people to something. But if it's stock brand subscription, I might want to convert people to the stock brand subscription sales page. So just putting kind of like the point of why you're posting about this and what you want the end game to be is a little bit helpful. Um, just so you can visualize that stuff when you're creating content. Now I've actually done multiple tables within this spreadsheet for different clients that I have. So I have a few different clients that I've created these things for. Um, some of them are shorter than others. Some of them don't have anything at all because we never moved forward. But this is just kind of how I wanted to gather these ideas in this handy spreadsheet. So you can create something similar for yourself, customize it how it works for you and your brain. And um, if you want to sign up for Airtable and you haven't before, I'm going to put a link below where you can click and it's my affiliate link. And then uh, that way you can try it out and it's free to start or you can upgrade to a premium plan. Up to you.